brain to explaining everything about the project um, verbally. So really what's mind boggling to me really with blockchain technology and all the different things we can do with it is an, a huge application for charity um, with basically full transparency, knowing exactly where charities are spending money or what they're doing with it. And so you can have a lot more faith as a donor donating to a charity, knowing exactly where your funds are being spent. And so another part of the technology that really interests me going into NFTs is twinning technology with real world physical items or physical applications tied to the digital asset of the NFT. And the idea of this charity is to build wells in Africa. And each well that would be built in Africa is twinned through the NFT twinning technology. It has a digital representation that's a, a match to that a, a identical well. So the community would come together if it's a, a small community village in Africa, and they would come up with the artwork that would represent the digital representation of the well. Then looking at using um, hardware oracles and external adapters, you can do things where I would put two different flow meters into the well, and you're measuring the data of the amount of gallons coming out of the well. This gallon would be converted to a CH2O token, and that token would drop into the holder of that NFT. So if I held that NFT as a donor and I bought the NFT as a part of the supporting of the charity of the well in Africa, and I hold that digital NFT in my wallet, I would be getting a drip back of every single gallon of water coming out of the well that's in Africa. And so bringing in brand partnerships and other businesses and everything like that to, to bring some utility to that token. And honestly, it's a really just a social proof, social good type of token that gives also real accountability to the charity and to the well itself because 30% roughly of wells installed in Africa go, go dry within about a year. And then no one really knows that because it's not followed through. So this is something where you're creating this massive network of not only um, different wells being installed, but it's a data network where you can license that type of data as well to researchers. And there's other applications along that as well. Um, I'm honestly, you know, I, I'm hoping Cardano has the infrastructure and capability to, to perform such a feat with, you know, the stream of the tokens and everything like that. They do have great connections in with Cardano Africa and good infrastructure set up with their existing, you know, identity um, projects over there with Cardano Africa. But the idea is very, you know, early stage. I'm building out, I've got a lot of different advisors and people that I've been talking to and building it up. Lots of people love the idea. Um, I'm building a lot more partnerships with it, building the team with it, trying to build a proof of concept. And it's just really exciting, I think, to have a possible project that could have massive impact, massive impact, and just show, you know, a lot of social good um, in the world and bring, you know, what's needed. There's a bit of a gap with the population increase in Africa that's been, you know, obviously increasing rapidly, faster than the rate that charities are able to provide help with these types of, you know, um, services like well, installing wells and things like that, real basic human needs. So I think that's what I'm really, really, really focused on building. It's uh, not really obviously any sort of a profit play for me at all. I want to turn it eventually into a full DAO and have it fully community led and built up. Um, so just the ability that any business could say, or any person could say, this is exactly how many gallons of clean water they've put into a village is just a really cool application and the technology exists now to do that. So excited for it, happy to discuss with anyone if you've got any ideas or anything like that, or would like to help contribute, um, I'm happy to hear, but yeah, uh, 